Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exo Force review, and this one's on the Gate Assault from 2006. So, on the front of the instruction manual, we which have the LEGO Exo Force logos, and also a picture of the whole set in action near a, one of the bridges of Sentai Mountain, and set number 7705, and has, and also little pics of of Hayato and a Devastator in manga styling there. And then on the back side, add for Lego Shop at Home. And then add for Lego Club and also odd looking alternate model for for the course. Big advertisement of all the other sets which I have previously reviewed. and all the pieces that come with the set, of course. Those are the final steps and finished result. And so now, on to the mini. Well, first of which we have Hayato, who, who, which is quite the same as we had in most other sets, like same hairpiece, face and torso printing, everything, and also do get a, a, a gate guard, which is kind of similar to what we had in the uh, assault tank set, and, and of course same hairpiece as we had with uh, Hikaru and what. Yeah, Hikaru ones, and also Hitomi, yeah, of course. And then also do get not one, but three of a Devastator drone, Devastator drones, it's but in the metallic brown coloring. And same if, even though they have do come in a few other sets, but the only thing exclusive to them in this set is not all any uh, red rock piece to stick in the back of the heads to make the eyes work. Even though you could can like add that in if, by yourself if you wanted, and also all of these front, these back torso printings, or I mean not only back torso printings, and also do have double sided faces like they do in most other sets, but yeah. And I guess that's about it. it with the mini things here. And now onto the build. First, now we have this one small uh, mech build for Hikaru or Hayato, of course. And of course, kind of similar to the couple of smaller sets that we've had at this time, at the time, and the following year, of course, where I have like minimal pieces, of course. Like for the feet, to have those like car rim pieces, well, two different types, of course, and also with a nice sticker going on to there, and also curved slope pieces for the legs, like we kind of saw in some other sets for that, and also one of those double hinge joint kind of bricks on there, and also like some of those earlier sets, has kind of double swivel joints on there. Oh, whoops. And as for this upper section, which is also kind of similar to some of those sets, but and of course with the a special Exo Force symbol on there, and and of course it can like flip right open, and also does have one of those rigid pieces and a slope, jagged slope on there, and of course a couple studs in there to fit your Hayato minifig into and close it on him like so. And as for the 
uh, uh, shoulders, uh, which comprise mainly just a few technic bits to it, and also this little armor piece, which we later see on some motorcycle sets afterwards. But of course, use uh, shoulder pad pieces, but you, at least they're still workable in bonicle mocking if you wanted. And of course, both of which have a different sticker on both sides of them. And whereas for this one arm of which, which has a few uh, bricks on there, like this one Technic brick and a few uh, red, dark red cones representing a little bit of blasting firepower on it, of course. And as for the other armor, which with a few plates on there and also with Devastator drone arms, but uses fingers like we see on most uh, mechs nowadays and as well as from this time, of course. And as for and of course, as you see on the back side, which do have those like clear uh, uh, flap like pieces, but also with a, a stripey sticker on both of them, which is nice to see there, but also nice to get in clear or to representing its other wings, obviously. Even though, from first glance, it looks almost like a downscaled version of the Stealth Hunter, of course. At least still kind of fair as is, but yeah. And that is about it with that one. And on to this other mech. Which, as you can see, kind of similar. Also kind of similar to some of the smaller mech sets of the line. But at least in dark red and black and dark gray. And also with a hint of light green. No, of course. And as for the feet, which are comprised of mostly like the jagged slopes kind of pieces, like some of the Devastator mechs kind of do. And also one of those car engine pieces on the back, which has extra greebling, of course. And also do have one of those. Uh, odd shaped jagged slopes, which both of which do have some stickers on them, and also at least quite nice stickering to them. And just like the other mech, same exact assembly build or leg assembly build, of course. And as for the center cockpit area, which comprises mainly just uh, a few uh, lever kind of pieces there, and four studs to fit a, a Devastator drone onto a course. And as for the uh, shoulder bits, which are these armor pieces, just about like we saw in the uh, uh, Knight's Kingdom 2 line on like Vladik and so on. And, but, on, but here are in dark red, of which nice to see and also great for mocking. But whereas for this armor witch, which have those like support pieces but used as extra gun barrels of course and as for the other side of which which does have a few regular pieces as missiles which you can detach easily and launch easily and look like they're launching off of course and as for this upper kind of section which has a regular jet engine piece with a, a technic ball joint in there of course and backside, which is nothing really going on, of course. Although it would be nice if there was some like shooting features on both of these mechs, or maybe that would have been a little much, but yeah. And that's about it with this mech. And now on to the uh, Devastator drones, a uh, little rolling vehicle, whatever it is, which as you can see. It's quite simple build, since of course, as common for 2006-7 standards, quite simple, but at least with a few neat effective bits to it. Like this front section, which as you can see, which is comprised of mainly like jagged slopes around for that, and also with a red plate in there. 
which is any course from any course does look almost like like the head bit of a regular Devastator drone's uh, head, but however, which but in large scale, but of course, for mocking this would be a rightful enough design to make like a large scale version of the Devastator drone, of course. And also do have a slope which has a, few, a little sticker on there, of course. But moving on down through most of it. As you can see, it has a lot of hollow space to it, but since, of course, probably for the price point of the set. And do have a little car engine piece on there, of course. You do have those thick plastic wheel pieces like we see in most other sets. And, and, and they do roll quite well, of course. And also what you're obviously noticing is the Toa Nuva shoulder or I mean chest plate pieces from the some earlier Bonicle sets, but in lime green. Of which so for mocking, great to have for that. Probably to obviously improve your Lee Wanuva uh, figure from there. And also do have a couple of like silver tubes that go right to the back for like nothing. And the backside which does have a clear red stud piece on the back. And also, but on the top part, which has this little platform to stand a Devastator drone onto, and also a few more of those uh, uh, support pieces as a, probably as a uh, Gaffler gun on top, of course. And also with the two other Devastator robots can like fit one on there. And of course, and fit one right on there. And of course, looking quite well. And of course, probably one of the only co op kind of vehicles from the drone side. Or, I bet, yeah. And that's about it with this one. Now on to the uh, gate, of course. Otherwise, or just gate, of course. Which, from first glance, looks almost like one little section bit of a uh, Sentai Fortress, of course. Like same exact kind of slope pieces from that set, but at least in, at least used in a smaller set. Although this which can go alongside that set, of course. So, like, and so now, as for other bits, of which we do get those, like these large paneling pieces right there, with a couple large stickers on both sides, and also the tan tiles above and. And if you wonder what these little bits are for, are probably for like security cameras or extra firepower on it. And they do swivel both ways. And this one, which doesn't have any at all, can like pop that off or pop them off. It can swivel right inwards. And of course, enough space to fit one of your small mechs right through. And, and attached just by two studs, of course. And as for one side here, and, oh, also forgot first to say is a couple more of those large slope pieces, but going uh, right towards each other. And as for this one side, which is consisting of this like large firing kind of area with a brown chair enough for your gate guard to sit on and just like we had with uh, the silent strike in the sentai fortress set is those like 
a lot of binocular pieces resting on one uh, technique gear-like piece just to represent extra shots of it and a couple technique bits there and also support piece again as a gun barrel of course and the southern side which consisting of nothing but just a couple small missile builds which are just for show not much else and both of which do are on like swivel and ratcheting kind of joints there and as for this one side of which, as the other side, there not much going on for that, but just kind of simple little technique kind of build where it's just plates stacked on plates and also these few uh, rods that uh, go on both ways, is that go right around to this little gun torrent around there. Uh, hang on. Which, and also do get one of those uh, classic flag-like pieces, but with the uh, Chinese-Japanese writing on it, in the course, but also with some weird lining around it, kind of cool. And also you get some of those like traditional jagged slopes, but in orange, nice to see there. And also on top of which is the classic... Uh, a spring little launcher bit with a few little technique bits on site so you can like reach at it and shoot at it easily. You get the classic missile bit and push on that and it launches right off like so. And of course this rod bit that's sticking up a bit is where you can attach it onto when you're not using it. Which I think is genius. That's for this other uh, side of it. Well, from the other side, which not much going on except for seeing the rod and the 1x2x6 uh, kind of tan bricks on there, of course. And of course, quite vacant, a lot more so than Sentai Fortress, of course. Just let me get it. So for my overall verdict is, so overall I think this is a quite cool set for how it is. Like, do you get not one but four uh, built together in one set, and also for the minifig selection, I think could have at least included someone a little different, or at least an extra minifig that was exclusive or whatever. Like obviously could have included Hitomi or. Or maybe, or or Takeshi, or just whatever. And also, for the Devastator drones, I think maybe could have included a silver one, and for a little bit of variation. But whatever. But the set as is, I can still kind of forgive how it is. But although for the forty fifty dollars that it was back in two thousand six, I think this which was quite good for how it was, even though with inflation and all. Uh, kind of was deep on that, but yeah. But also, aside from that, all of this kind of also well works out as a low budget version of Sentai Fortress, obviously. But also, as for the like, one of the drone builds, like, nice to see one of the like, like uh, bases done in larger scale, of course, as well. And yeah. Incident and the playability is still quite quite good for how it is left well for the gate build of course and the little mech builds almost as fair but yeah and so now if any of you still have this set from back of the day well I hope you had some good memories of it and for those of you who have it and still have access to this set I'd say definitely get it eBay Bricklink Mercari whatever and that's it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching.